The National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, received today at his office in Sakhir camp. The Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the National Guard Director of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. The two sides reviewed the cooperation and coordination relations between the National Guard and the Royal Guard. They also discussed various topics of shared concern. The National Guard commander commended the advanced level of development, progress and combat readiness of the Royal Guard, which demonstrate the strength of the foundation led, laid down by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in addition to the progressive vision of His Highness the Commander of the Royal Guard. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that the National Guard will continue to protect the Kingdom and its national accomplishments in all fields. The Commander of the Royal Guard praised the patriotism and high level of the National Guard's affiliates in terms of combat readiness and efficiency, he attributed this achievement to the strategy laid out by the National Guard commander. The Bahrain Defense Force Royal Guard Special Force Commander, His Highness Major Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met at his residence in London with a number of companies and organizations wishing to participate in the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, the BIDEC 2017 held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa from the 16th till the 18th of October. The conference represents a great opportunity to exchange ideas and experiences on current security developments on the military arena. Sheikh Khalid's meetings come as part of the directors of the BDS Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the BIDEC 2017, Brigadier His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid was briefed on the programs of those companies and organizations and what they would offer as part of their latest military techniques and developments. He expressed pride in hosting such an event in the Kingdom of Bahrain that shall be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King and affirmed that this international exhibition would make a positive impact on the BDF efforts in adopting the state-of-the-art military developments. He went on to state that the exhibition would serve the BDF's aspirations Due to the wide participation of leading military companies in land, aerial, and marine fields, His Highness continued to cite the importance of this event given the participation of the Arab coalition and the efforts of restoring legitimacy in Yemen, as well as the Islamic Military Alliance to combat terrorism led by Saudi Arabia and NATO. The Pediatric Department of the Arabian Gulf University held the first Pearl Pediatric Conference today under the patronage of His Excellency Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health. More in this report with Sheikh Mohammed. Through a variety of keynote lectures that are given by distinguished international speakers, state-of-the-art sessions of oral and poster presentations, and dedicated seminars, the Pearl Pediatric Conference provides a wonderful forum for upgrading knowledge and exploring innovations and recent advances in neonatology, general pediatrics, and pediatric subspecialty. The post-Congress workshops cover hot topics in clinical practice in an interactive manner and allow participants to meet the experts in the field. It is a very important conference because the population in Bahrain is almost 50% under 15 years. And that's same actually in, uh, in all the Gulf states. And uh, you know, this conference actually, the participation is very wide and you're represented from different categories of the world with you know, uh, very uh, you know, uh, ex good expertise, very important expertise. And you know, discussion of this matter in uh, this conference it's very important you know, to develop and you know, to uh, all the service in Bahrain. This is the uh, first uh, conference for uh, ch child health and it comes in the uh, stream of uh, uh, interest of GCC countries to prepare for the future in terms of you know, economy, industry, all other sectors. It's a priority for us to look at our children in the health side to make sure they grow healthy and free of diseases, any kind, to prepare them for the future and to lead, inshallah ta'ala, in the future and to continue the, uh, the growth that we enjoy within the GCC countries. The conference brought together clinicians, researchers and other health professionals and gave them the opportunity to interact and build professional and friendly relationships, all the while discussing major medical issues that affect the youth in the Gulf, specifically Bahrain. The most common diseases in Bahrain are the, what we call blood disorders. 
like uh, sickle cell disease, thalassemia, and G6BD deficiency, beside infections, beside nutritional problems, beside new diseases like uh, diabetes, type 1 diabetes, obesity in children, as well as liver diseases and cardiac diseases. Several sponsors and exhibitors also took part in the conference to showcase their products or services that are relevant to the youth. This ranged from skincare products for teens struggling with acne to formula for newborns and infants to CPR training programs for parents and teachers. We are here, as you can uh, see through the stand, uh, trying to uh, um, inform uh, the, the community about the nature of the services uh, we do provide. Uh, which is, uh, as we believe, a mandatory uh, skill for every uh, father and mother, uh, for every individual uh, of the community, uh, starting from first aid, uh, moving through uh, all uh, practices uh, that are um, life-saving for individuals. The Pearl Pediatric Conference will go on until tomorrow with a concluding workshop on Saturday. For Bahrain News, I'm Shog Mohammed. Based on the directives of the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to support educational and training programs through enhancing cooperation with academic institutions, the Royal Police Academy signed four memorandums of understanding with the National Oil and Gas Authority, the NOGA, the National Institution for Human Rights, the NIHR, Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, and Bahrain Training Institute, the BTI, with the aim of strengthening cooperation with these parties. The memorandums are based on a common belief in the importance of scientific research, practical training, and comprehensive development in all areas of work. The MOUs were signed by the Public Security Chief Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, NOGA Secretary General Dr. Ahmed Ali Al Sharian, and IHR President Dr. Abdelaziz Abul. BIPA Director General Dr. Mohammed bin Shams and BTI Director General Fauzi Abdurrahman. The Public Security Chief affirmed that the memorandums reflect the shared keenness and enhancing academic cooperation, which will contribute to implementing joint projects in the fields of academic research and training. The expected projects include the organization of seminars and training courses, the exchange of field visits and consultations, particularly in the field of security. For their part, the parties highlighted that the MOUs provide an opportunity to benefit from the shared expertise. They commended the contributions of the Royal Police Academy in the fields of research and training. The Director General of King Fahad Causeway Authority, Mr. Abdul Rahman bin Saad Al Yahya, presided over today a coordination meeting between Bahraini and Saudi customs and passport officials. During the meeting, an agreement was signed to end procedures related to implementing the one point entry across the private lane in King Fahad Causeway, starting March 6 as a primary phase to be later applied to the general one. The agreement was signed upon directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Premier, the Minister of Interior. The two sides expressed their appreciation of the outstanding outcomes of the meeting between their Royal Highnesses, the Bahraini and Saudi Crown Princes, that asserted enhancing means of integration and communication to facilitate passengers and trucks procedures through the causeway. The two sides also reviewed the mechanisms listed to implement the one-point system in addition to all administrative security and technical measures of the execution phase.